morning. I think I had my second worst night's sleep on trail last night. Oh, I am going to try never to stay in a cabin ever again. It was awful. I was lying in bed looking at all the cobwebs around me to start with, getting a little bit paranoid. I was like, I'll be alright, I'll be fine. Turn my light off. And then I just heard mice all night long, basically, till about four o'clock this morning. And they were scurrying around the floor. They ran over the top of my sleeping bag, <laughs> right past me in bed constantly. And then at one point I heard an awful lot of scurrying, thinking that sounds a lot heavier than a mouse. Turned my light on, my torch, pointed it into the corner of the room, and there was this creature there. I have got no idea what it was. It was probably the size of a small rabbit, but without the ears or the teeth. <laughs> it looked like a giant type of gerbil or rodent thing. And what it was doing was pulling up all the green leaves or something from outside and building a nest. And it kind of froze and I was watching it for a minute and then it scuttled down between all the logs. And then I heard it come back up again and it was, ju it was just constant all night. It was I don't like it. I was at, at one point, I was literally at that kind of moment where I'm thinking I'm just gonna get up, take everything outside and build my tent. Oh, it was just, it was awful. I'm gonna seriously try not to do that ever again. So yeah, that was my night last night. So in <laughs> the theme of that, something I'm not gonna miss from trail is the mice and the creatures when you're trying to get to sleep and having to protect your food and all your gear and everything every night. I mean, I literally woke up and there was mouse droppings in my shoes, on my bag. It was, they were just everywhere. It was, <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> but on a positive note, there's something I will miss from trail is experiences like I had yesterday. So walking along and seeing that huge owl fly right in front of me just across the trail oh it was breathtaking I, it stopped me in my tracks and made me kind of gasp it was one of those moments that that's why I'm out here I love nature I love animals I love seeing the wildlife I just don't like sleeping with them <laughs> just stop for a break because my feet are hurting already oh my goodness I've been walking across all these rocks which is so you've got brown mountain up here so you've just got these lava strewn slopes everywhere so it's a little bit brutal on the ankles as you can see here for my lunch today I am actually having half of the backpacker meal which I had for dinner last night so I find that that never is it, it's always too much for me in one sitting, so I'll have half of it on an evening and then save the other half and have it for lunch. So I like doing that sometimes. But the weather's starting to turn. It's got a little bit chillier. The breeze is picking up and the clouds are coming in, the dark clouds. <laughs> they have said that it's gonna start raining either this afternoon or snowing, but I know that I'm gonna be walking into snow in the next few days. So yeah, all good fun. <laughs> I'm still walking on all the lava rocks and just up here I've got a great view of Mount McLaughlin.
am tucked up in my tent and ready to have dinner for the night because I just felt absolutely exhausted today. I think some days you plan on doing a certain mileage and I always kind of set a goal each day about roughly how much I want to do and at the moment it's usually between about 20 to 25 miles and I know I'm not one for talking about mileage but you have to have a bit of a goal out here because otherwise you know it'll be next year before you know it but today oh I think I just couldn't do more than one or two miles at a time without stopping I think I just feel so lethargic and tired today so I have decided to just stop a little bit earlier. I think I finished at about four-ish and I'd only hiked about 15 miles, which is crazy because it's not even been that hilly, but my body's just tired. It's just one of those days. And I think last night I hardly slept a wink because of the mice and that weird creature. And I was just unsettled all night. So I thought I'm gonna have some good food tonight, have an early night, get some rest, and then hit the trail fresh tomorrow. Cause sometimes I think, you can plod on, but you can be in absolute agony and pain. And I just think, what's the point? That I was so miserable and I was finding it so difficult. So I've got to the highest point of the day and I thought, at least in the morning, it's all downhill. And tonight, I wanted to share something with you that I've not had before. It's called Millie's. It's a vegetable spring broth and it's Thai lemongrass, which is this here, if you can see that. And it is one of the most delicious things I've had on trail because I like my herbal tea bags, but I ran out. And I don't know, there's just, it is such a simple and fresh tasting broth. And it feels like you're having a proper home cooked soup, but without anything in it. It's just literally the broth. So it's, it looks like just normal herbal tea, but the flavors in it are so strong. And, oh, it's just nice. I'm having it just before I have my main meal, just to keep me warm and it is absolutely delicious i've got another one as well called delight faux which is a different style but i haven't tried that one yet but i can highly recommend the thai lemongrass one because it just makes a change to have something that's so tasty on trail it is extremely nice and one thing i might try and do in is if i ever have to resort to ramen noodles again is taking out the sachet you know with all the nasty artificial ingredients and using that instead because i think that would be lovely